Hello and welcome to Tech and More. So, Salesforce testing, one of the most sought after careers among the IT professionals right now, or rather QA professionals right now. Though there is a lot of content available on the internet, and we also have great amount of content around Salesforce testing on our channel. Uh, there is a very famous question that is asked in the interviews that if you are well versed with Salesforce testing, can you please tell us the challenges that you have faced as a Salesforce tester? And to my surprise, and to everybody's surprise, a lot of people fail to answer this question. Though they know the data, they know the logics, but they do not know it pointer-wise, right? So the intent of this video is to well verse you with the three major challenges of Salesforce testing. And uh, the next time somebody asks you, you can give a very good and a very brief answer. So let's start. Point number one, it says frequent updates. So before proceeding, let me tell you that Salesforce has three seasonal releases in a year, right? So Salesforce will come up with new updates. You know, if you're using an app in Android or iOS, you know, there are updates, right? There are continuous updates. Same is the case with Salesforce. It comes up with major updates three times a year in winters, in spring and in summers, right? So, and why is this done? This is done to address the user's complaints, perspectives, or, you know, if users are facing any issues or to enhance the security, all in all to improve the system every time, right? So, which is a great thing, but from the testing perspective, understand this, even if there, if, even if you're not developing anything, even if the website or the org in Salesforce term is as it is, no changes have been implemented in the org. As you can see on the screen right now, this is a typical Salesforce org. Even if no changes are implemented here, then also due to new releases, there might be some new breaks. And if you are from the testing background, you know that every time a new update is pushed, regression test testing has to be done or a sanity testing has to be done to make sure that the new changes have not broken the existing changes, right? So imagine, even if you're not developing anything new, you have to test the system thrice a year because the changes have been made from the Salesforce end. So that poses a great challenge, right? So number one, the first challenge that we face in Salesforce testing is frequent updates, right? Now let's go on to the next one. The next one says, testing for classic and lightning is different. Now, if you are new to Salesforce, let me tell you, that Salesforce Classic and Salesforce Lightning are two different things. Salesforce Classic was the earlier UI that Salesforce had and Lightning is the new one, right? So as you can see on the screen right now, this, the old looking sort of a UI, that is what is Salesforce Classic. And this, which is the sort of a comparatively new sort of looking UI is Lightning, right? Now, though the functionalities and the uh, things that you're developing or the out of box functionalities, they're all same in classic and in lightning, but you might be surprised to know that a couple of steps for the same functionality might differ in classic and lightning, right? So you cannot say that if you have the test suit with you, you have the same test suit with you. So it cannot be used with both classic and lightning. So you'll have to make sure that and yes, I agree 60 to 70% of the test cases will be same, but 30 to 40% test cases will be different between classic and lightning, right? So you have to maintain different suits and do different executions, thus in turn increasing the effort, right? So that is the second challenge of Salesforce testing, which is testing for classic and lightning is different. Got it. Now let's go to, th let's go to the third and the last challenge of Salesforce testing, which is integrations can be demanding. So if you are, you know, if you have been in the, in the IT domain, you know that one simple or one single system is not sufficient. Every system has integrations, right? And so does Salesforce. So Salesforce has N number of integrations with other systems, right? But, <clears throat> and which is a good thing. Every, every uh, product has to give the power to integrate. Otherwise it will not sell. So Salesforce allows you integration to a great extent, but the problem is that when integrations come into the picture, you have to increase the testing effort because now it is not only about Salesforce. It is about the data flowing from system A into Salesforce, then from Salesforce to system B and likewise, right? So you every time a new integration comes into the, into the picture, you have to make sure that you go ahead and you test the entire end-to-end -end functionality, right? So that poses a great challenge in Salesforce testing as well, right? So what is the last, Salesforce testing challenge that integrations though is a good thing, but it increases the testing effort by a great extent. Got it. So these are the three major Salesforce testing challenges that you might, might not, or you will face, even if not all, you will face some challenge out of it. But yes, if you 
feel that you have faced any other challenges while doing salesforce testing do let us know and we'll be happy to include them in the video as well thank you so much for watching and i hope the content was helpful to you do let us know if you have any suggestions and uh, see you in the next video thank you